Welcome to another Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot. The fractured and Alterac Valley expansion has changed the game substantially alongside the most recent nerfs, and players have worked hard to perfect the decks over the holidays. No matter what deck you've been playing recently, one thing's for certain, you've seen a lot of Rogue. Both Thief and Poison Rogue are littering the ladder, making up nearly 60% at the highest ranks. Honestly, at this point, it's more surprising when your opponent isn't a Rogue, and we've come to expect that every match will find a Rogue in disguise. However, whether you're a fan of Rook or not, this meta is fairly well balanced, leaving there to be quite a few decks for you to choose from. Before we dive into the top tier of our meta snapshot, be sure to check out the rest of our report over at TempoStorm.com for a full in-depth analysis on every single deck in the meta. Now with that out of the way, let's jump right in. Leading off tier 1 in this meta snapshot breakdown is the previously mentioned Thief Rogue, and like its namesake, it's taking over the ladder in an extremely aggressive and stealthy fashion. With the ability to start off as a different class, your nulls get discounted every time you draw a rogue card until you play a class card. The ability to play your nulls for free nearly every single game allows for some pretty insane openers, leaving your opponent to play on the back foot for the entire duration of the match. And even after your opponent finds a way to stabilize, they often are too low to come back, succumbing to either your burn or your Mr. Smite combo with Edwin. As such, Thief Rogue has a great matchup against Face Rogue and other board decks, as they struggle to keep up with your removal and threats, and to add insult to injury, you always have the chance to generate a random ice barrier or two from Wand Thief to entirely lock them out of the game. However, decks like Hand Warlock and Fell Demon Hunter can deal with Thief Rogue's threats pretty easily, so Valera struggles in these matchups. The next deck we're seeing in Tier 1 is Poison Rogue. We told ya Valera is really taking over the ladder. Poison Rogue can take advantage of decks that aren't running weapon removal by pushing near constant damage. In fact, this architect has inspired players to call for Cloak of Shadows to receive nerfs due to how tilting the combination of two cloaks and scabs can be at times. A long-standing regular of the Hearthstone standard ladder, this iteration of Rogue exploits slower, combo-oriented decks. Therefore, slower strategies such as that of Mizaki Mage pose zero issue for Poison Rogues. However, other aggressive lists really hamper this deck, as they can assemble enough pressure before Valera can stall the game out with cloaks. Face Hunter in particular possesses an early curve that beats most Rogue open Openers, preventing you from ever really getting online. As with every meta snapshot, we're now going to take a look at some of the top decks in Tier 2. This tier is more diverse than the first, with the majority of the decks seeing not only ladder play, but also high-stakes tournament entries. Bolner OTK Shaman leads the second tier, making use of corrupt cards such as Circus Medic and Dunk Tank to push a nearly infinite amount of damage when coupled with Bolner and Yushiraj. Thanks to Bolner's Hammer Beaks duplicating the first battle cry played that turn, you can ensure that your Circus Medics chain together giving you so much damage. OTK Shaman is a deck that can be difficult to pilot at times, as you need to know how to efficiently spend your resources, but once you master it, you'll see solid returns on the ladder. And speaking of the ladder, OTK Shamans love running into Libram Paladin, as Paladin players struggle to put on the pressure while you assemble your combo pieces. However, stay away from Jaina and Mizaki Mage. This matchup is the inverse of the Libram matchup, as you don't apply enough pressure and just lose the game while they draw their cards. The next deck we'll see in Tier 2 is Face Hunter. This deck really just will not die. Face Hunter continues to play for board in the early stages of the game, then transitions to a burn plan using Hunter staples like Quickshot. If you want fast games, Face Hunter is the list for you. It continues to be one of the best aggro decks right behind Weapon Rogue. Use this archetype to punish greedy combo decks like Mizaki Mage, but beware of lists that commit even harder to the board than you do, such as Beast Druid. Last up is the third deck in Tier 2, Hand Warlock. Yes, you heard that right. No matter how many times this deck has been nerfed, it truly continues to make an appearance in the top echelons of the ladder. Clearly, Hand Warlock is one of the most flexible decks ever released, and it continues to prey on those experimenting or just trying to have fun. Hand Warlock continues to use the quest to add a certain inevitability to their game plan, but it typically will close the game out with a combination of Flesh Giants and Baron Scavengers. Hand Warlock is a great deck to pick up if you've been encountering a lot of Thief Rogue or Beast Druid, as both decks tend to struggle with your large threats and removal. On the other hand, Gul'dan historically has had a pretty rough time with freeze-based burn decks, making Mizaki Mage a particularly rough matchup. As always, the Hearthstone meta continues to evolve with each and every patch, and we're really excited to see where Blizzard takes things prior to the upcoming mini set. It's likely that we'll be seeing a nerf to Rogue, mainly due to how much of the ladder it takes up, but only time will tell if Blizzard decides to bring out the nerf bat. Thank you for tuning in to our meta snapshot, and we will
we'll see you next time.